this is a video on these backs and boning bodies first i measured the horizontal measurements starting from my shoulder line you know this um, blouse is a, an off shoulder so i started from 4.5 line raising four upwards for my off shoulder allowance then i took my horizontal waist measurement which was 18 inches and my under bust then i measured four inches down guys this video was a little bit fast so you didn't see that i added extra six inches downwards for the back's allowance or the v-shape that we see in front so now after taking my four four inches for nipple to nipple measurement then i came up on the shoulder line i measured one one inch on each line on each side on the under bust i took one one inch and on the waistline i used half half on both sides so now i'll join the lines i came up on the waistline by half inch then connect it <coughs> Then from the bust line, I came down by one inch. Then connected. The reason I'm reason I, I come down by one inch is because I'm using a straight ruler, and I don't want it to be pointed at that side. So I actually went up. Uh, uh, I went up another one inch before I connect it to the shoulder line. So this is what I have. Then I extended my waistline to my six inches. I don't know. I didn't place this camera well, so it's not showing my six inch extension downwards. So now it's time for me to take the actual measurement. This blouse, this um, client already gave me a sample. So we have 6.75 on that sample. So I took this 6.5, 6.75 measurements and added my two inches that allowance, then added another two inches allowance. But if you have no, if you don't have um, a sample to work with, just take the back measurement, the chest measurement from one shoulder to another, then minus two inches on both sides. So now I'm putting my bust measurements and adding allowance. Remember to add back the that allowance you took. Like on the under bust, now we have 2 inches. So I have to add these 2 inches. Then add my 3 inches allowance. Same thing on the waistline too. So you have enough. I measured what I have there. I added it back. Then add my three inches allowance so that I have enough room. So then I I connect my lines. And cut it out. So now you see my six inches extension properly. So now I decided to make a sweetheart neck. So I went down by one inch then curve. So this is what I have on the front part. On the back part, I already measured my one inch zip allowance. Then like I did from the for the front part, I started on the 4.5 inch inches i raised i put some 4.5 inches upwards for my off shoulder allowance then took the rest of my horizontal measurements then added my bust uh, nipple to nipple measurement four inches 
at the back i'm not adding any half inch like i did to the front in the front i measured 4.5 4.5 adding half inch for sewing allowance but because this one i won't be cutting it off so i just measured directly my four four inches then on the under bust line i took half half inch on both sides of the nipple to nipple line then i connect then from the waistline i came up by one inch then connect the lines so this is what i have guys and now it's time to take my actual measurements my back measurements and my shoulder measurements make sure it's the same thing as the front mine is 6.75 my bust measurements too i added sewing allowance and i took my under bust measurement and my waist measurements just like we did in front adding allowance for sewing I'm just confirming my measurements, you know, check, check, check. So for my shoulder measurement, I make sure it's 6.75 like I did in front. And I added half inch for sewing allowance. I drew a line downwards. If you have a better ruler, you can use it. To excuse my tape ruling pattern so this is it guys so i'm cutting it off and this is it so i place them on my fabric and cut out so i added wording to my to my fabrics and i left a little bit inch upwards for sewing so for the boning addition you first measured from your half shoulder off shoulder from your shoulder to your um under bust then make sure that the boning on that region is facing downwards so that it can curve and bring out the bust like i did you see that that boning is facing down and i pinned it down so I left space on the to sew the um on on the seam to the edge. So now I'll cut the boning for the down part. You see this one will face upward so that it will not curve. You know that this part is flat. So that's just the G mix of adding the ridge line boning to the dress you'll get it soon if you st still don't get it yet so this one is to face upwards why the one on the bust part should face downwards you see that it's facing different directions so now i pinned it down then so it you can see that you can see the curve effect that is how you get the curve effect so now i did it on the center piece and both side piece that is how you can get the curve effect. Don't make a mistake. For the curve parts, you use you face the boning downwards, and for the um, flat parts, you face it upward. So I joined my this together, then I ironed it. Then for the back part, I measured one inch on the zipper part on the waistline. I measured one inch upwards to eliminate the zip and bulging at the back. So this is it, guys. I ironed on light interface, then joined it, turned it with lining, and took in my darts. Then now it's time to take my measurements on the sides. And I did exactly that. You can see because and viola this is what i have so thank you guys for watching